Hey peeps, welcome to another video. So today I thought I would do a recap of all the different things I made in 2016 and it turns out that I made 137 items which seems like an awful lot. Technically uh, 40 of those were key fobs that my mum helped me make. Um, well when I say helped me make, I ironed them, she sewed them so technically she made them. So realistically that's 97 things that I made last year and only 40 two of those were for me, which I think is pretty good. Um, apparently I made 43 dresses, five tops, one bolero, uh, 13 skirts, 15 bags, five jumpsuits, one romper, five cushion covers, four coats, a waistcoat, one pair of trousers, one hat and an apron and uh, the quilt that I made for my best friend. So I have all of the twirls of all of the things that I made for myself this year and then I've got some photos and, and a few clips of different customers makes as well. Um, yeah, so here you go. So first up we've got the dress that I made with my Secret Santa fabric and although I've not worn it yet I do absolutely love that one. Although this next one, the Purple Pansies, is definitely my favourite make of the year. I love this fabric so much. This is another grey dress in the Rainy London fabric which has proved really popular this year. I ended up making three different dresses for customers out of that fabric. Um, this is a by hand London and a bodice with a mini skirt. Um, here is my second favourite dress, it's the Michael Miller Regatta print and it's the uh, Grace uh, dress again. There's a lot of Grace dresses this year as you can see here. I um, really love this lace detail dress. Um, also really love the cherry treat print uh, for this one so I'm really pleased that I fixed that dress and got that in a wearable state. This is fail number one, don't like the waistband on it but that is totally fixable so I just need to pull it out of my UFO pile. Uh, this is the very first jumpsuit I made and I absolutely love it and it's the first time I'd worked with this rayon fabric and it's really really lovely to wear. This is fail number one completely, um, lovely shape but it's just too fabric's too stiff for those trousers as is this one really, I've not worn that rom romper yet either. Um, this is a by hand London and a bodice with a gathered skirt and it's the resting bitch face uh, jungle January print and this is a flora skirt in the Orion silk that I got from Springflower and I love that one. This is the very first shirt dress that I made which hadn't finished there, not enough buttons. Uh, this is a Vogue V8947 and it's in the Verity print and again I've worn that one loads over the summer. Another grey dress, it's the Anchor and Hearts print from Spoonflower. And then we've got another semi-naked lady dress this time, it's Mermaids and again it's an Anna bodice and a gathered skirt. I think it's my favourite for that kind of fabric. Yet another grey dress, uh, this one is in the Bed of Roses Sapphire print which I do still have in stock in the shop and another V8947 in the Michael Miller Meadow Path print which proved very popular, I had lots of orders for that too. Um, I really really love this, um, the Sailor Foxes on this dress and I don't think I've worn that one yet. This one I did wear to the Festival of Quilts and got loads of comments on it and people trying to mug me for my fabric. And this is the Bull Rushes print which I saw and actually made for a customer and then went back and bought the rest for myself. Um, another by hand London flora skirt, this time in chambray, and some rayon trousers this time. I really really like those, they're very comfortable, I'm very glad I made them. Uh, another Vogue V8947 and another Robert Kaufman print this time, again I've worn this a couple of times over the summer. And the Blue Lobsters which are absolutely one of my favourites, I say I think I'm saying this about all of my dresses but yeah I like them. Another McCall's 6696 shirt dress with the Siamese cat print and the obnoxious Petunia's grey dress which I really 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 love, um, very very loud and bright. This is the Dear and Doe Belladon dress which was a little bit of a fail, I messed up the back and I haven't even hemmed it there but I actually have worn it a couple of times and I like it. This is the brightest dress I made all year and I'm really pleased with how the chevron skirt came out even with the amount of work it was, it was worth it. Um, actually a surprising um, wardrobe staple, the black circle skirt I made out of crepe. This is the second fail of the year. Um, I absolutely love this silhouette and the colour and everything but it just doesn't fit me so I need to work on that one. Another naked lady dress, again a by hand London and a bodice and gathered skirt and it seems that September or maybe October was the uh, month of jumpsuits because I've made four. 
Um, they're all by hand London bodices with the uh, wide leg palazzo pant uh, trouser pattern that I got from the Dorothy Perkins ready to wear jumpsuit that I love. So really pleased with all of those. Can't wait for the warm enough weather so I can actually wear them. And then it was back to November and I uh, kind of ran out of time for selfish sewing. So we've got a Vogue V8947 and my little red dress project, which was another grace dress. I also tried my hand at a tutorial for this witch's hat for Halloween. Um, small girl typed creature in her two Eliza Lex dresses, big bird in her cherry tree print skirt and then I made mum a couple of skirts, one in this tulip print which is really pretty and then another one in the timeless treasures palazzo print which I really really liked as well and she wore those when she went on her cruise. I also made her two dresses but she seems to only have taken photos of this one, it's another Timeless Treasures print. And This was the very first order I did of the year for a customer, it's the Bull Rushes fabric and it's a top and skirt. I also made her a yeah, yellow floral dress. I then made the Meadow Path skirt and top set which um, I think was the inspiration for mine. I also got this um, tulip border print from Spoonflower which turned out amazingly and I love how that looks. I also made her a couple of peasant style tops from different fabrics from my stash. Then I've got the first of the regatta dress copies that I made, this one's for the lovely Shirley. I was also commissioned to make a, a needle cord waistcoat for someone's graduation. This is a La Cala dress for the lovely Daisy on her 13th birthday. This is the first of the rainy London fabric dresses that I made for the very lovely Emily. And then this is the second regatta dress and I just absolutely love how she styled it, which she did for me in the shop, which was lovely of her. Uh, this Soaholic Minoro coat that I made for the new someone's mum for Christmas. And Samantha's Paisley dress, um, which turned out amazingly. I was really pleased with how we finished that one off. And this is the double wedding quilt that I made for my best friend for her 40th birthday. Doctor Who cushions, my cousin in Australia. And then on to lots and lots and lots of necessary clutch wallets. Uh, this one is in the Barbarella fabric. Definitely need to make myself one of those. This is the tulip border print to match the dress for the lovely Sarah. Um, I ended up selling one, this one in the shop and it's one of the minis, which is a really, really nice size. And this was for a competition winner and um, it's actually a lady that works with me and she uses it all the time. We have um, tree frogs and uh, chilies, which again, I really, really like. This is one of the super large ones that I did and that was for uh, one of the regatta dresses. Uh, another mini in chocolate cherries and a mini in a strawberry fabric. Uh, Halloween inspired movie posters, which is really cool. And the Polaroid, which was a commission for someone's birthday in November. I really hope you enjoyed having a look at all those twirls. Um, I think that there were two proper fails and one kind of one that I think I can tweak and make into a success. But other than that, I'm really happy with everything I made last year. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye. The...